Hi guys, welcome back. Well, this uh, uh, introductory video is uh, useful to anticipate uh, the coming soon videos uh, that uh, you will be able to find uh, on my channel dedicated to the spreading of the board war gaming. Well, I'm going to complete uh, the, uh, the war game, the analysis of the war game Lion of Judah. Uh, published by Compass Games and designed by the Spanish uh, Javier Romero. And uh, next week uh, uh, I'm going to shoot uh, a video dedicated to Gettysburg, to the introductory game Gettysburg, designed by Mark Herman. And uh, you will be able to find it uh, in the magazine C3 High, uh, edited uh, by Roger McGowan. Uh, exactly number 32 should be published uh, during this year and then well uh, I can consider that uh, a sort of uh, return to the origins back to the origins with the, the mythical game tactics 2 designed by uh, the always beloved Charles S. Roberts and uh, it will be uh, an analysis uh, about uh, uh, the milestone, the first war game that uh, uh, will uh, that begin everything. And the last but not least, uh, um, according to the to a friend of mine, uh, Andrea Magno, he suggested that to analyze the the first war game that uh, introduced uh, uh, me uh, to this uh, hobby. Well, and in fact, uh, I'm dedicating a video to uh, East and West, a war game designed by uh, Marco Donadoni and published by, by the Italian publisher International Team. Well, guys, uh, that's all. Hope to have you as an audience on my channel. And uh, always, as usual, your comments and opinions are always well accepted. Bye, guys, and hope to see you soon. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Finally, we have uh, uh, completed, we can consider completed uh, our analysis uh, about uh, Lion of Judah, designed by the Spanish uh, Javier Romero. And uh, this uh, uh, last video is uh, dedicated to the second player phase of the scenario 1935-1936. Well, uh, I have already said that uh, uh, in this scenario, well, the Italian player has uh, always the initiative and uh, the second player uh, is the Ethiopian one. Well, also in this case, uh, we have a movement segment and a following combat segment. I want to remind the player that uh, uh, the Ethiopian player once uh, in the game may do the grand offensive. Actually, uh, I want to uh, again underline this uh, uh, rule. Well, actually, once in the game, the Ethiopian player can announce uh, the, uh, the Grand Offensive and can attack the Italian units uh, by getting two shifts of column. Well, it's uh, an offensive that uh, the, uh, I suggest uh, the Ethiopian uh, player to start when uh, um, the Italian units are, uh, are close to Addis Abeba. Well, please remember that the Italian uh, players can designate also the gas attacks. Well, they are not so uh, powerful, so uh, I, um, I think that uh, they are not so necessary to use and uh, uh, the Italian player can lose also some victory points. And finally, the activation segment. Well, this is the uh, first uh, uh, peculiarity that we find uh, in this uh, uh, moon segment. Why? Because uh, 
well we cannot uh, move uh, immediately all the tribes that uh, are placed uh, on the map but on the contrary we have to uh, have a look uh, at the Ethiopian uh, army activation table and uh, we have to roll a die and uh, for example I'm going to roll a die well my red die I'm going to roll that one well if uh, I, uh, for example I'm trying to activate, activate Ras Mulugeta and when you roll one well by um, with two or less no activation so by considering this uh, die roll well uh, i can activate uh, this important tribe in fact uh, well the um, the impossibility to activate uh, this leader well is uh, a, a big trouble for uh, selassie so it's a very very important uh, role and please remember that the Italian player can also affect this role by uh, using uh, resource points and I strongly suggest uh, the Italian player to do that well so uh, let's uh, mm, let's consider uh, in every case Mulu get uh, activated to give you some example but unfortunately uh, even if uh, you can activate uh, uh, the Ethiopian tribe, well, uh, mm, I notice that uh, it's impossible to attack uh, effectively the Tanya units. So, again, you have also to, uh, to reinforce the front line uh, well, by placing your unit on the mountain hex and uh, uh, waiting for the Italian attacks. I repeat, when the Ethiopian player uh, announces the Grand Offensive, well, in that case, uh, it's uh, possible to attack. Another important uh, peculiarity that the Ethiopian player has to remember is the uh, Ethiopian, well, it's appearing on the screen, if you can read, it's the Ethiopian uh, combat table, well, it's a little different from the uh, generic combat table and actually um, we find uh, more losses that the attacker uh, can suffer. But please remember, each time that the Ethiopian player attacks, well, he has to use this Ethiopian CRT. Well, uh, that's all as regards the second player phase or the Ethiopian player phase. And what about the end of turn phase? No problem, I have already explained that. You have uh, again checked the supply. I repeat, I have already analyzed the different ways that the uh, units can trace supply. Uh, you have to flip all HQs to their uh, combat side. Ethiopian attrition check. The stacking limit uh, as regards the Ethiopian units uh, is 7. If, you, um, if this limit uh, is not respected, well, you have to roll the die uh, to check a possible attrition. Well, you have to remove any gas markers, uh, remove any air supply markers, uh, and all Ethiopian leaders turn face up. Please remember that each time you activate a leader, well, you have this uh, uh, the, um, activated, the, um, the word activated, and at the end of the turn you have simply to flip the marker. Well, uh, I have forgotten to say that uh, obviously when you are going to activate the Ethiopian units, well, by considering uh, the table, when you roll three, half activation. What does it mean? Well, you can move half of the, uh, of the tribe and uh, as usual plus the leader. Um, well, bribed, please remember the uh, possibility that the Italian player has to affect this role. Well, all in all, uh, I can affirm that Lion of Judah is a traditional war game 
with some peculiarities that uh, make uh, it interesting and uh, very good both for uh, mm, a medium or uh, skill player but uh, can be used also to introduce some new uh, war gamers to this uh, noble art and above all it's a very interesting uh, also for the old Italian war gamers because uh, uh, the game uh, gives uh, a complete view about the military campaign that uh, uh, the Italian army led by Mussolini uh, started uh, before the Second World War. Well, waiting for you uh, for the coming soon videos about uh, Gettysburg by Hermann and uh, another video dedicated to the history of board war games and we are back to the origins by analyzing Tactics 2 by Charles S. Roberts. Well guys, it's all. Thank you for your attention and bye.